So Stevie decided he wanted to paint his car and he pushed mine outside, which I mean, it is his garage, so it is up to him. When I was unwrapping the car, I noticed a new dent in the corner panel, which was kind of a bummer, but I guess that's just what happens. It's kind of a crappy way to start the day off, but I'm not gonna let a little dent upset me. Well, since I have the car out here, I think I'm gonna put on this jig while I have the space to take off the other door. Wow, that lines up really good. So I guess some ants moved into the roof. So that's cool. While the ants are deciding where they want to live next, I have put these straps onto the roof. Then I'm going to use the engine hoist to lift the roof up and I'll be able to determine where I want to trim. Man, they're still going crazy. Looks like they're like throwing stuff off the side. Like just jumping off. Ugh, I don't even want to know what those white sacks are. <laughs> this corner too. Oh man. Looks like they have a whole, uh, God, nasty. Looks like they're throwing stuff overboard. Jeez. All right, so I've let them sit for a bit and now they're just in like these clumps. When you flick them off with a screwdriver, they don't like that. <laughs> oh my goodness, they gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy fuck. Sorry for all the ant content. <laughs> Today I became an exterminator. All right, so obviously as the roof is now, it's not gonna sit on the car very nicely because we have two A pillars on this side and we also have two C pillars on each side. So each pillar, I need to figure out a game plan. This is the easy side. Since this roof was cut off of the same car as this whole half cut, I know for a fact that this is going to line up exactly with this and this B pillar is gonna line up with this because that's the same car. Now the C pillar here, what I'm thinking is to cut it off at the spot welds here. And on this right here. Because that will ensure that that's the exact location where it has to be mounted. And I'll do the same thing for this C pillar on this side. This one's already been drilled out. And for this B pillar, uh, the spot welds are drilled out on the chassis. So, I'm going to drill out the spot welds here on this roof. There's still some ants in there. I might have to play exterminator a little more. <laughs> and then for the last piece, the hardest one, this A-pillar. So, when I cut it off of the shell, I cut a little extra wide just in case I wanted to use any of this section, which now that I'm thinking about it, I think I do want to. I think what I'm gonna do is drill the spot welds out of this A-pillar on the car. It doesn't appear to be damaged, but to make it easier to line up, I want to use this A-pillar. So the roof panel actually ends like right along this bottom seam here. And it includes these door bolts, which would be perfect because I have this jig here, which I can literally bolt up the new roof too and I know for sure that's in the right spot and then I would just have to drill out some of the spot welds on the back on this panel here and then on the chassis as well so yeah that's the game plan 
gonna prep this roof and then hopefully we can test fit it today. Oh man, there's still a lot of ants in there. Looks like they're sleeping. So that's super cool. You can see now that the door bolts here are actually a part of the whole entire A pillar. It goes all the way up. All right, so at this point, the roof is officially prepped and ready to be test fitted on the car. So now what I need to do is take off the door jig and also the whole firewall section. because so I need to get access to the panel that holds on this A-pillar. It looks like this panel actually goes all the way down to here and also includes the inside rocker panel. But I don't know if I'm trying to drill all of those out right now. So instead, I'm thinking I might drill it down to here and then cut it. And then when I reinstall it, I can just weld that seam back together. Because I'd hate to break apart this whole side of the car just to free up this little spot. I remember I always wondered what this little sticker was inside of the door, but when you move it, it's an alignment hole. This aligns multiple sheets of metal for the A-pillar structure. I'm assuming during like factory installation, there was like a key hole or something that like slid into this when everything was being welded together. So I'll definitely have to utilize that. Looks like I cut my sunroof drain. It's a good thing the new roof is a slip top. <laughs> so it looks like I may have been mistaken with the layers on here. I thought I'd be able to drill out some spot welds and separate this panel completely, but it looks like this panel here, which is the like reinforcement panel for the A-pillar and also the door bolts, is sandwiching with this outer piece here and this piece is in the middle and this is a piece of the a pillar as well it goes all the way down to here and here this whole piece is sandwiched inside and i don't think i want to drill all of those out because that's quite a bit of drilling what i'm going to do instead is just cut along this seam right here on the bottom, which is right here. I'm not too worried about if that'll line up correctly because I do have the door jig. So luckily that utilizes these two bolts and also these two bolts and it connects. So I guess I'm gonna have to make a cut. Wow, who knew I could cut more off of this thing? <laughs> All right, let's test fit the roof. This is so exciting. So the roof is fully on the car right now. The weight is off of the hoist. It's not exactly lined up right now, but I can see where it needs to be trimmed. So it looks like this part needs to be trimmed a little bit. This is gonna be perfect, because obviously this is the same car. This is the same car, obviously. And this A-pillar. This seam right here is the same as this seam right here. 
So I need to trim this one back a little bit and then straighten this one out. Then I'll be able to know that's the exact location where it needs to be because it'll be like bump to bump, you know? So I'll clean that up a little bit. This C pillar would line up perfectly if it weren't for that one that needs to be trimmed and also this B pillar needs to be trimmed. So the backside is looking pretty good. It looks like it'll sit in there pretty nicely. But I'm gonna need to trim off some of this outside piece. This is actually the quarter panel. When they put the quarter panels on from the factory, it's all one piece. So this from here all the way up to here is the quarter panel. It even includes in here. Super exciting. I'm gonna take this thing off and trim it real quick and then try it again. But like, look at this thing, man. It's starting to look like a car. It has a roof. Ah, so exciting. <laughs> okay, get to trimming. If you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like. And if you want to see more of this build, subscribe. Thanks again. All right, last but not least, the A pillar on the roof. Now that everything is trimmed up on the car and the roof, I might as well start grinding away all the paint and adhesive. And I've already knocked out all the parts on the car. So now I need to do the roof. Whenever I find myself doing mindless tasks, my mind just wanders so far. And sometimes I'll be thinking about everything, but at the same time thinking about nothing. It's kind of a weird experience, <laughs> but it definitely is great to be able to step away from something. And that forces you to think about what's next. Planning ahead is the best way to get stuff done. Thanks a lot guys for sticking around. You guys really helped make this possible. And I appreciate when all you guys drop likes and comments on the video. I love trying to get back to you guys and getting to know you. So thanks a lot. Your support goes a long way. But all right, let's test this roof now. I'm excited to see how it fits now. Now that it's all trimmed up, all right, I need to push this in a little bit more and lower it down some too, it looks like. Oh man, it's getting close. I need to drill out this spot weld right here. That way this can slip down inside of here. Here it is. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. It lines up so well. I'll have to extend this a little bit, but that's all right. I have all of this pre-bent metal to use. This one won't be too bad, especially because I haven't even mounted the jig yet. That'll just secure it even better. But this line isn't too bad. Once I put the jig on there, I'll know how much more I need to either trim it or gap it. This side is, when it's pushed back into place, this fits in here really nicely. And same thing with this one. If I have to gap it out, I'll have metal for that. But I also wanted it to be gapped so I would have access to weld this like inner piece so yeah now I'm super curious to see how the trunk fits on here should I mount the trunk all right we'll grab the trunk all right so check it out we got the trunk on and it actually looks like a car do you think this quarter glass will fit let's see drops it <laughs> all right I'd definitely say this is starting to look like a car again <laughs> and just look at that oh it almost looks like a shell again <laughs> sick
I even installed the door jig in the front. So sick. That's so exciting. I can't wait to post more updates on this thing. It's come such a long way. Oh yeah, and this is the weld through primer I got. Is this the stuff you guys use? Those of you who use weld through primer, let me know.